Tyrosia Douglas, 23 years old, the only girl at Upton Boxing Center. She just got off work, tired from looking after kids all day. The last thing she wants to do is work out. She hates running, but she's running towards something, a future, which at 18, she didn't think she'd have. Tyrosia grew up in Washington, D.C., one of four kids born to parents who were drug addicts. The family bounced from foster home to foster home until she was 14. A cousin took them in, introducing them to this civilized form of fighting, boxing. It was really Tyra Shia's last chance if she wanted to avoid a life of crime. Expelled from school, a judge offered her a piece of advice, channel that anger. Ninth grade, when I broke a jaw, broke a nose, and hit a nerve, um, I had to go to court, et cetera, et cetera, and I came back to him and showed him the papers and told him that I didn't want to um, be anything like my mother because my little brother was looking up to me, but again, I didn't have no guidance. Being a girl in a guy-dominated sport, that would intimidate some girls, not Tyrosia. I have a lot of men in my face. The guys don't give me a hard time. I really give them a run for their money, so it's pretty cool. I didn't have to prove anything to them. However, they was trying to prove something to me, and I just would brush it off. Her fists do the talking. Among other titles, she's earned a silver medal two years in a row at the USA Boxing National Championships. She's been in hundreds of rings. But this spring, Tyra Shia is preparing for the biggest match in the world. She's qualified for the 2012 Olympic trials. If she makes the cut, she'll represent the U.S. in London this summer. Everything's at stake. When I'm thinking about the things that I've been through coming up, uh, going from house to house, group home to group home, days, those days when I couldn't eat, it was, it was the struggle and the hustle, so all that stuff is on my mind when I'm when I'm fighting because I'm I'm fighting I'm 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 fighting for my life. You trying to take something that I that I love doing that I enjoy that I stop everything for and this this is what I do. I don't take my boxing career for no joke. This is not a hobby for me. This is what I do. Head coach Calvin Ford says her time has come. Sometimes she get like she feel the, the world on her back, but then sometimes she don't think about it. And that's what I'm trying to get her to do, that um, just not think about it, you know? That don't, don't, I know you've been dreaming about this all your life and it's about to happen, but just relax, just be free about it. Just be free. If she can stay free about it, everything else will fall in place because the way how everything is happening and all the way up to this point now, it's meant for us to be here for some reason. I just don't know the reason yet. <laughs> I think she's going to be an example for other kids that went through the same thing or going through the same thing that she's been through to speak out about it. You get what I'm saying? And sometimes you have to be put in a position to have people to listen to you. So I'm hoping that this is the avenue and she truly believed that that's why she is in this, this situation, to be that light for other ones that went through the same situation that she went through, that she can bring them and give them something forward to look to, 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 to you know, to bring them some, some peace to them. Tyra Shia reunited with her mother a few years ago, searching for answers. They weren't the ones she wanted, but she presses on. All I knew was fighting, so if you say something smart to me, I just break your face. That's all I knew, and that's how I got out of a lot of stuff. So if it wasn't for boxing, honestly, I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for my parents putting drugs before me, honestly, I cannot speak on why I would be. And it's a blessing that they did because me and my brothers are happy and we still going forward. We don't look back. We don't get mad at them or cry and ask them about the past because the past is the past. We're talking about the future. They call her baby girl Douglas. She's all grown up now with Olympic sized dreams. She got the right frame of mind because she got to go out there and put the work in. The work is, is done here. Once we leave here, the rest is what she do when she get there. I only can beat myself, can't no more else beat me. She's ready.